Welcome to Bacon Sale. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a meow kit? <laughs> Are you meowing? There's always a cat in a haunted house, right? All right. No. All right. No? Why yeah. would there be a cat in a haunted house? Black cats? Because they're creepy. That's racist. And they're bad looking. <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Bacon Sale, everyone. I am Jacob. I'm Kent. I'm Joel. We are really, really, really excited to be recording today. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> yeah, I was like two reallys, not three. Joel, Joel, how are you feeling right now I'm, on the really ca- I'm uh, perspective? I'm nervous. Really? I, you know me. I like to prepare for shows. I like to dive in and get a ton of notes and be all ready. And this time, I don't have any. Which is shocking to me because you're the improv guy. I, I am the improv guy, yeah. but I like to at least, I, I like to be prepared so I shall not fear. <laughs> All right, so makes like, sense. You get it all in your head, and then it's like, okay, I can, I can set this up. Because I like it more when you're unprepared. Yeah, I know you do. Because I might, feel like you're on the chance. same level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Joel prepares for like three days and you don't. Yeah, it's... yeah. Joel's like, hey, I got three pages of notes, and it's 20 minutes before the show. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm writing them down right now. <laughs> <laughs> and his note just says, mock Joel. <laughs> so, Joel, maybe you could explain why you aren't prepared today. I'm not prepared because I was told not to be prepared. <laughs> Because Jacob said he had this whole thing set up. He started explaining it to me. It sounded like the instructions from Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, my brain turned off. Just tell me what I need to do. And he's like, just show up and argue with Kent. And I said, I can do that. Yeah, you that, know, that's pretty I, easy. You, I rolled a 20 on this one. So I have pretty good luck. That's Dungeons and Dragons, right? Yes. I have no right? idea. Yeah, yeah, they have the dice, go, the 20 set yes dice? On that. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know. I think that's like the, our blind spot. I think there are a few blind spots we have in the geek culture. But I think Dungeons and Dragons is, or D&D. Right. As they like to say. I have a vague concept a big one. of what it is, but I really, I've never played it, but yeah, it could be fun. Should we play it? Maybe one of these shows we get like, you know, Dan in here or something like that to play with us. And oh, to teach us how to do it. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. On That'd be air. a four hour show. <laughs> yes. They could do an accelerated thing, couldn't they? I don't think so. Don't they have like a fast track Dungeons and Dragons? Because he tried to teach me once and I had to fill out like a menu <laughs> of like what my character was, what his name was. And all his, like, characteristics. And I rolled a dice for every, like, how much charisma he had and everything. And I had 30 minutes, and I said, Dan, I'm actually out. i got to go home. All right, we're, here's the plan. A four-hour show, and then you're just going to edit it. And then you can come on, like, voiceover and be, like, 20 minutes later. I'll just throw in a montage that's, like, <laughs> yeah. and they got real good. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it'll be good. But or, that's not what we're talking about today, is Today, it? we're talking about... Heroes, specifically the TV show. Uh, actually, that will come up. Oh God! Specifically, no. just, you mean like my parents? <laughs> they're my heroes. <laughs> yes, Brandon. That's what I mean. Oh, he <laughs> really said a, that. It's not a he slam. Did. My he parents are that. my heroes. I love them. What's so wrong much. with having your parents as heroes? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's, it's adorable. <laughs> just I, seems strange to me. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what I've what I've done, listener and. Listener, <laughs> this, this one listener, <laughs> <laughs> listener, <laughs> wherever hey, you are, out dad, there. <laughs> dad, wherever you are, you're my hero. I mean, after mocking Bourne so much, we do only have one. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gone so. down quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I've made a hero bracket. I've made it nice. Like Fifty different heroes that everybody knows pretty much. So it's like it's like a March Madness bracket type thing. It is a March Madness bracket, except you guys don't have to see it. Except you can if you want to. We're gonna go ahead and post it after. We're done here with the show, so by the time you're listening, you'll be able to see the bracket of heroes. Are we going to get through all 50, or is this show going to be split? We're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I can see why Joel's nervous. I am okay. nervous. So we here's, here's we how don't it's... know what we're talking about. We don't know how long it's going to take, and Jacob is in charge. Good luck. We know exactly what we're talking about. So I'm going to give you guys a pairing, and you're going to decide who's going to win in a cage match to the death style fight. Okay. okay, but a Not, cage couldn't contain some of those. I know that's actually <laughs> you know really what he meant. Point. Yeah, okay. a death match. All death right, match. So this, yeah. this isn't like match. this isn't like who has the better movies, who has you know the nope. more charisma. This is well, I think it's important to, and I'm going to take in my arguments like how they've done in the movies or TV, what well, like more, success yeah, or yeah. failure, depending on that as well. Right. Yeah. And these are heroes like, you know, NYPD? This is or? heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Atticus Finch? Is yeah, that what we're basically. talking about? Well, yeah. did you see the sequel? He's not much of a hero anymore. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, oh, it's a rewrite. All right, so this is actually limited to sci-fi and fantasy. 
heroes. Sci-fi and fantasy heroes. I can deal with that. So yes. no action heroes? Well, I, I was going to say there is a caveat, which is there's a couple of action heroes, literally two, that I've thrown in because it's just a little too much fun for these pairings. So okay. there's, there's a slight exception to that rule. However, so by Jacob, and large, sci-fi fantasy. And you came up with this list all on your own. I came up with this list with the help of several people, actually. Okay. So, but, but Kent and I had no hand in it whatsoever. No, no. Joel but, and Kent have no idea other than probably obvious people. I've included. Most notably, Mark helped you out, right? Mark, Mark who was on our yeah. Fast and Furious podcast. Yeah, Fast and Furious. If yep. you haven't listened to that, go back and, and look at the episode description. Yep. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's all you have to do? Don't listen. Don't give us a listen. Go read the description. Also some it's help great. from uh, Jesse, who's a listener. Oh, nice. And uh, Dan. Dan wow. Tennant, yeah. Uh, Dan Tennant as well. So, who had, who I'm had a little worried now. I'm right with Joel. I'm nervous. I would thank them, but I have no idea what to expect. All right. We, let's okay. get right into this. Oh, yes. We have so, a long show. Yes. Just, just Maybe. to... <laughs> <laughs> we may have a long show. <laughs> we don't know. All right. Just to summarize really quick one more time, I'm going to give you guys two characters. You're going to decide who wins uh, in, a fight. in debate who would win in a uh, fight. fight to the death. And if you cannot decide, you'll try and convince me who it is, and I'll choose. <laughs> okay. Okay. Based on your argument. That's not, that sounds only. fair. Okay. So if we agree, we just move on. Yes. If we disagree, you make the decision. That's right. That's right. Sounds fair. Okay. I'm hoping to disagree. You know me. <laughs> you will at some point. I disagree with your disagreement. So uh-huh. we're agreeing. Oh, uh, high five. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the first one? Yes, we are. The sure. first matchup is Legolas versus Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Both bowmen. Yes. Uh, archers, I guess I should say. Um that's a that's a good one. I'm gonna have to go with Legolas, frankly. Well, why is that? Because first of all, his unlimited supply of arrows and his golden locks of hair, and the fact that he is kind of immortal. Whereas, spoiler alert, uh, Arrow has died. <laughs> yeah, but Arrow has died and then come back. I mean, he's a comic book character. They always come back. They always come back. And you know what? Elves quit. Elves just go off into the into the West. Elves are the French of the Middle Earth. <laughs> yes, they surrender. <laughs> if if men get too corrupt or That's if they like decide cool. their time has passed, they just leave. But they are. Well, what about, the, what about Legolas? the gadgets too, though? Okay. Legolas has agility, and I think that's what puts him above Arrow maybe slightly. Yeah. Is because they both have great archery skills. Especially if they're in a cage match, Arrow's not going to be able to go hide out somewhere and snipe, you know. Yeah, but what if he shoots an arrow with a bomb attached to it or something? He may, but then Legolas would actually grab the arrow, light it on fire, and shoot it back at him (laughs) with sunglasses on. (laughs) Okay. You know what? But I don't think Legolas is as strong without Gimli. And I'm actually. And my ass. I'm arguing now for for Arrow because because Le- Joel went for Legolas. Legolas, you failed the Hobbit trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't though. He was one of the best parts of the Hobbit trilogy. But it, he was still in it, and it failed. Wait, you're okay. You're arguing against Legolas. Yeah, I'm going you're, for you're Arrow now. All the Green Queen. Arrow. Seriously, he's got like a billion dollars. It's he, true. Not anymore. <laughs> Are you not that far? I in didn't the watch that season. <laughs> He's broke. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be with current season. Yeah. Right. Are we in, any more arguments then? No, I just think... Legolas has beautiful eyes. Legolas, you know, unless he has an elephant to jump on top of, or, or a horse to jump on top of, or a warthog to jump on top of. And he's done all those things. In the death match. He's going to jump on top of Oliver Queen and stab him in the throat with, a sword, with an arrow. Okay, guess what? I've decided... And then guess what? And then guess what, Kent? Hmm. The red sun will rise. Blood had been spilt the night before. If it's Arrow Season 1, Arrow wins because he's willing to kill Legolas. <laughs> if it's post-Season oh, no. 1, he yeah. won't kill him. When he has that mor- he will. Legolas That's will kill. It. Oliver Queen will have that moral dilemma of, I can't kill an elf. I could never kill an elf. And then he would die. And then he would yeah. die. All right. Based on that, I think I'll Yeah, I Legolas. agree. Yeah. Yay, I win. You don't win because I came around. Oh, right, flip-flopper. <laughs> Kent's like, which wow. side am I going on? This is brutal. All right. It's because you went, oh, Joel's doing that one. No, I'm listen, going you need to debate the strength of someone that may not win in a match. Right, but I'm going to pick a pony, and I'm going to ride that pony. <laughs> Thanks, Legolas, riding ponies. <laughs> With my long, pick beautiful a horse, locks all right. of hair. Yeah, that could have got weird. So Legolas advances. Legolas, Legolas advances, which means next round, not this round, he will be fighting Cyclops from X-Men. Okay. You're giving us a sneak peek? Yeah, yeah. Don't sneak give peek. us a sneak peek I don't, I don't want a sneak peek. Yeah. I'm excited about I the sneak peek, I kind of like not though. knowing. Okay, all right. No <laughs> more sneak weird peeks. Pairing. It is a weird pairing. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, all right. Ripley versus Sarah Connor. Ah. Oh. oh, man. See, that's actually not fair because these are two of the best feminine heroes of all time. Better than Samus? 
Uh, yeah, better than Samus. Okay. We, neither of us are really like Metroid. Come on. Yeah, but Samus is kind of and awesome. And you're putting them right up Smash against Brothers. each other. Yeah. Well, they're too, they're too similar to not, I think, go head to head. Here's the thing. I think Ripley is a survivor. I think Sarah Connor is a fighter. And that's why I think, I think Ripley would put up a good fight, but she doesn't have her mech suit. And so she's going to get owned by Sarah Connor. What if she trained. had the mech suit? I believe... Does Sarah Connor have a Terminator at her disposal? I was going to say, the the Terminator practically is a mech suit, and Sarah Connor already beat that. It's true. So Sarah Connor, I'm going to say, is going to win this battle because she has trained, whereas Ripley... Ripley gets, you know, more aggressive and more fighter-like as the movies go along. Yeah. But I still feel like Sarah Connor is the better warrior, and Sarah Connor would win the fight. All right. Can... See... Normally, I would agree. I think Sarah Connor is a great fighter, but Sarah Connor also usually has a team at her side. Usually, Arnold Schwarzenegger at her side, or you know, Kyle Reese. Seriously, Ripley is on her own. She is a hero no, by her own right. <laughs> she had Newt and the cat. She may be a survivor, but she <laughs> will Bishop. survive. I think that's the point. She doesn't go in straight to a fight. She survives. We don't have to argue is... on every one of these, Ken. We can get through the quicker rounds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I'm. But Jake, please decide. I say Ripley. He says Sarah Connor. Really? No more arguments. Nope. That's it. It's Sarah Connor. It's it's a survivor. It's Ripley. Oh my gosh, this is actually really hard. Based on our arguments, though, who would you go with? Based on your arguments, yeah, fifty-one percent Kent. Yeah. yeah. I want more arguments, though, honestly. I gave the entire argument. You actually gave my argument, so thank you very much. And I think that's why I want. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right. I'm going Ripley. Yeah. This is a ripoff. <laughs> you got the last one. I want all of them. <laughs> I'll try not to argue every single one. <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> you don't make promises with you can't you keep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just go with what you think. And uh, we would encourage the audience to play along as well. If Absolutely. If you're listening on, Pod, on Podbean, on iTunes, on Stitcher, or any other platforms you may be listening to. Yeah. Yep. All right. The next one's kind of a strange pairing, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but it's The Flash versus Doctor Strange. See, that's tough because... You go first. I don't know if you can really... Uh, honestly, Doctor Strange is out. Because we've never, no one really knows about him. Even Marvel movie fanboys don't know anything about Doctor Strange yet. We know that he is the Sorcerer Supreme. He's got magic. He's trippy. There's comic book people right now yelling at us <laughs> at yeah, their radio. I, I yes. hope so. But if you somehow bind his hands, then he's toast. His hands are his only strength. Oh, really? Is that, that's that's it. Yeah. I don't know anything about also, him. I thought it was actually his belly button. <laughs> it is. is it, it, well, that's the, source, that's the source of his power. Okay. <laughs> Once again, comic book fans are screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Dr. Strange. He does the Care Bear stare, right? Is and that not- uh, it really, like, the Flash is, is fast, but guess what? He's faster than Dr. Strange, and he can wrap that cape around Dr. Strange, because that cape is huge, and basically choke him to death. <laughs> Joel? All right, Joel. I'm going to agree that it's going to be the Flash, because even if he gets knocked down and starts losing, he can time travel back in time and fight Doctor Strange again and yes. learn his weakness and beat him. That Although, said, we... Technically, Doctor Strange has probably has that ability, too. We haven't seen Benedict Cumberbatch, and yeah. once everyone sees good old Sherlock do it, you know, everyone will be a fanboy yeah, for that, too. Much, but, yeah. And that's why I threw him on, is because, like, we don't know him right now, You're but trying to stay will. relevant we when will, we release so. the show in a year. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. So, Flash. Flash it is. Yes. All right, next pairing. Yoda versus Dumbledore. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> That's really good. Both, uh, both have died. Normally, I would say Dumbledore until you see the fight scene in episode two, Attack <laughs> of the Clones, which is the better. <laughs> bouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, it's Yoda. Yoda, huh? He has a lightsaber and the force, which is basically magic. And I'm going to go, well, here's the thing. I'm going to have to go with Yoda as well. Yeah. Only because lightsaber, and I think Dumbledore has that kind of pacifist attitude that's, you know, more like, kill me, then I'll kill you. Like, I don't think, I don't think he could evade a cadaver a Yoda. Dumbledore's only power is by withholding information until the very end. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harry, that's what he'd I be like, intended all along. He'd be like, Yoda, I think I can beat you, but I, I'm not going to tell you how. And then Yoda'd be like, what? Mm, tell me more, more, tell me. You Wait, know, it turned to Greece all of a yeah. sudden. <laughs> <laughs> would like to see have a car? Mm. God. <laughs> Have a card, does he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was a tangent. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> Dumbledore would sit there going, like, hold on, let me get Hold a memory on. from my pensieve on how to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lightsaber Yoda wins. Comes down. Yoda wins. Yoda so. wins. Okay. Great Yoda, pairing, Yoda, though. Great pairing. That's a great pairing. And I, I also, I think that Yoda would force choke Dumbledore with his own beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Lack and of his facial hair advantages. And his new yes. hippie hat. The the thing that came on, we got uh, Michael oh, yeah. Gambon. It, okay, yeah. if it was Richard Harris Dumbledore. No, maybe. Richard Harris <laughs> dropped dead. I mean, quite literally, because he's oh. so old. He would beat both. <laughs> Two against one, Michael Yoda Gambon? still wins. No. Yeah. All right, the next pair. All right, so Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. Mark Yoda, Yoda down. Advances. Yoda is the winner. Uh, the next pairing is going to be Harry Potter versus a different sort of fantasy character, Merlin. Harry Potter versus Merlin. Yeah. It's just magic. Are we magic going Sam here. Neil Merlin? Or are we going Sword in the Stone Merlin? Or a combination of all? I think it's just Merlin. I think it's combination. Yeah. It, it, collective data or <laughs> okay. whatever Can on go? Merlin. Yeah. yeah please so do. Here, here's what I think. Okay. First of all, Harry Potter really wouldn't have won anything if it wasn't for his friends. He, they always are able to stumble into some dumb luck type situation. Harry or, uh, excuse me, Ron or Hermione will help him out or Snape will give him some advantage or, you know, Sirius will give him some advantage. He needs a team. Merlin, on the other hand, particularly Merlin from Sword in the Stone, I think would accidentally kill without meaning to. He'd be like, I'm going to do a spell to turn you into a squirrel and then accidentally kill him and be like, oh, well. So I'm going to say Merlin. He would accidentally kill him, but then Harry would go to the afterlife tunnel of yeah. light and find that little demon hiding under the bench. And then that little de- demon would join him as he came back to life. <laughs> and then they would go and, and because they become a team, they would kill Merlin. Yeah. I think Harry Potter would, would win because he is the boy who lived. You keep bringing in the team, though. This is a cage match. I mean, doors are closed. Two people in the ring. He just came back from the afterlife. The doors might be closed. But you can't close that right, door. Right, but he's not bringing Ron or <laughs> he's not bringing Ron or Hermione in the ring with him. Yeah, no, he has a weird goblin that's never explained. Dobby? No, the weird little Voldemort, baby demon oh, under the no, bench. Yeah, oh, the, oh, yeah, the, the little Voldemort fetus. <laughs> yeah, they but had no, that, he has a Horcrux in him, so I, I really think he can't. The hor- die. That's what I was just going to bring up. Is no. If we're talking about when he has a Horcrux in him, nothing can kill Harry Potter. No, it would backfire on Merlin. And Merlin would die. I but was once, Harry, once Potter, Harry Potter died, the but, Horcrux was gone. Yes, that's what I was. Gonna... <laughs> he can now die. Uh, yeah, some guys. This uh, was pre Voldemort fight, by the way. He's no, no, it's no, still no, Harry no. Potter as we I'm know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's if this old fight, R or Harry if Potter. this fight would have happened, it would have appeared in the books. <laughs> so this is obviously after all the books. I'm sure ended. J.K. Rowling will add it in later, probably, like she always does. <laughs> no, no doubt. Yeah. All right, Jake, make a decision. Uh, all right, I'm going to go with Harry Potter. Yeah. After the books are over. Okay. Which is going to be Merlin wins. Oh, what? Yeah. That was a little Merlin confusing. against Harry Potter? Yeah. Merlin wins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so many mad people. <laughs> All right. You ready for this pairing? Yeah. Han Solo versus... Don't do it. Indiana Jones. Hey, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So they're both shooting each other. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of what I imagine. Now, Kent did have some preemptive... Uh, warning on this one because when it was first what? being figured out, like this one came up from the initial thing when, before I cut him off from knowing. I'll just say this, Joel, and you you should know this as well. I think if maybe this was thirty years ago, we talked about this. Han Solo would win because well, he shot first, but now in canon, he shot second, and so I think Indiana Jones wins. But I will say that Han has more experience shooting than maybe Indiana Jones does. He does fine against guys with swords. Don't get me wrong. But that's pretty much the extent of his shooting abilities. So I'm going to have to go with Han Solo winning this one. He can kill three guys in a row. Han Solo or Indiana oh, that's Jones? Right, when he lines them all together. That, yeah. yeah. And he still. has a whip. I think the whip puts him over. Not <laughs> oh, just a vest. He, he a has whip. a whip. <laughs> yep, he does. He does have a whip. That's true. I didn't think about the whip, but it's true. Yeah. I'm going to change my vote and say Indiana Jones because he would whip the blaster out of Han's hand and then shoot him. Exactly. And then throw one of the power stones at him. <laughs> And then make him drink from a cup. And, and then grab turn. his heart out of his chest. <laughs> then he'd pull his crystal skull right out of his head. No, no, no. We don't talk about that. And then throw him in the fridge. Yeah. And nuke it. Then he would survive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Your analogy fell apart there. All right. So you guys are agreeing on Indiana. Indiana Jones yes. takes that round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Although uh, I'm I will glad say, I didn't have to choose. No, but I will say after that, uh, Indiana Jones is going to walk out to the parking lot and Chewie's going to rip off his arms. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, Chewie was actually on an early version of this tournament, but uh, he didn't make the cut. Yeah, he's yeah. not a hero. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right. I don't, don't want to anger so many people. I'm trying to anger as least as many people as possible. Oh, good luck with that on this show. Dare to be the enemy, Joel. Never. <laughs> All right, here's the next pairing. We're going to have Green Lantern versus the Silver Surfer. <laughs> All right, wow. both Cosmic. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Both yeah, subpar movies. Yeah. Yep, yep. Which one is more subpar? Rise of the Silver Surfer or the Green Lantern? 
The Green Lantern Green was Lantern. dull, but the Silver Surfer, Surfer was dumb. Yeah. And I really think it was a wasted opportunity. I, I think that the Green Lanterns have to be very knowledgeable about everything in the universe, and I think that he would know how to take care of the Silver Surfer because they know about Galactus and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm going to say that the Green Lantern is going to win this. Joel's right because the Silver Surfer is more the harbinger of doom Yeah, for, for planets. I mean, he welcomes, you know, basically invites Galactus, that sort of thing. Whereas Green Lanterns, besides the movie, which didn't really show it well. They're the guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> truly, they have will. Will is their strength. The color green. Yeah. And I think, you know, with all of his arsenal of whatever, he would be able to do. Although take the out Silver, Silver Surfer, Surfer was able to change his color to Yellow Surfer. Yeah. Oh, Green Lantern would be in trouble. He would be in trouble because, man, yellow is scary. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the stupidest weakness ever. I, I feel like Green Lantern would uh, create a green shark with his lasers. And the shark would go take a bite out of the surfboard. Oh, and no. then we'd have a Silver Soul Surfer. Oh, and you'd only have one on. arm. I wondered where you were going there. That's right. I knew exactly where I was going. You did? Yes, I really? Did. <laughs> Soul Surfer? I thought you you knew gonna, I was going there. I thought you said you were going to bite off his arm. Yeah, and I did. So, yeah. You said bored. Well, bored, but the arm would be part of it. Because he doesn't really, he, would, he doesn't ever paddle. He he's would always be paddling. He never paddles. He's paddling in hey, space. Listen, do you paddle to get out? The what will shark would be confused and think he was a cosmic seal. <laughs> he would just take a Wait, bite. so, okay, not only is he creating a shark, he's creating a shark a that is self-aware. Shark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Green Lantern, man. All right. All right, here's the next pairing. If the white Power Ranger. <laughs> That's racist. Versus Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the White Ranger, the White Power so Tommy, Ranger. Tommy wants the Green Ranger, now the White Ranger. Yes, because he was the Green Ranger, and then he turned to the White Ranger. Yes. My, my uh, like, I don't know, my junior high girlfriend was obsessed with him. You were obsessed with him. I No, I really didn't watch Power Rangers that really? much. And so I did not understand her obsession. And then I saw him, and I'm like, still don't get it. Hmm. But uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Pikachu. Just because I think that he would fry the White Ranger every time he tried to touch him. Just electrocute him. See, I feel like he would call his Zord, and the Zord would crush Pikachu. And sure, it would shock the foot a little bit. You know, maybe affect some spark plugs, but that was it. You know, just crushing. Crush. (laughs) And Pikachu would be gone. Yeah, I'm saying White Ranger. Because not only can he fight himself, but he can also get in his Zord and and crush anything he wants. So can he be a Zord? Is a Zord from Zaxby's where he gets a Zalad? (laughs) <laughs> nice plug there. Thank you. So, does he have to have the other guys for a Zord? No, I don't remember. Just himself. Just if himself? he wants to create the Megazord, <laughs> then he needs the other guys. But everyone Nerd has their word. own beast. <laughs> Be <All> nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about Pikachu versus the White Ranger here. I think we're all. all right. But I, I will admit straight up that I have a limited capacity of knowledge in both Pikachu or in both Pokemon and in Power Rangers. Yeah. Although I think it's ridiculous that you chose the White Power Ranger. That was the suggestion to me, which I went with. So yeah, I would have gone with the, the white. Just the fact that well. you put the paws in the wrong place and it turns into the white power <laughs> ranger, <laughs> and that's not appropriate. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to go power ranger on this one because yeah. it's gonna turn into the Zord or whatever, and that's gonna <laughs> or whatever. Whatever kid said, he made up some stuff, so I'm gonna go with his. <laughs> you you got Merlin. I yeah. did. You I got did. Merlin over Harry Potter. Yeah, but I think and shame Agabus. on you. I think that fifty you slipped Jake before the meeting. <laughs> before this. <laughs> I was going to actually preface this show with every time I agree with Kent, Joel is going to get mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, because it's every time. <laughs> Except oh. it's not. You okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to zord you. <laughs> Group hug. After I'm going to stab you with a zord. You don't even know what that means. I don't. All right. Next matchup is the Beast. Verse. From Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> no. Really? No, that's a different episode. Oh, Beast, Beast from X Men. X Men Beast. Beast. <laughs> X Men Beast. And when we touched, she didn't shudder. My paw. <laughs> Versus Batman. Tale as old as time. <laughs> Song as old as rhyme. Tale as old as time. <laughs> <laughs> right. I could keep going, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Okay. Batman versus Beast. Batman. Wow! Well, they're both scientists. They're both very, they're both highly intelligent. They're both blue. Well, in Batman's some incarnations. more of a detective than a scientist. I've got to go with Batman on this one too. Like it, it was a good pairing, but it's got to be Batman. Well, Beast, tell, tell me why. Beast has too much self hate. <laughs> he does. He has self. And Batman would would use his you know insecurity against him. And here's the thing: is How? Uh, Beast is a true intellectual, meaning he's got that pacifist attitude. He'll fight when necessary, but he's mostly going to try to you know work out a compromise. The guy, I mean. We're going with X3 here, mm-hmm. or, as, or as the last stand. 
Last stand. It, yeah, X3 last stand. Yes. He's a politician for crying out loud. Batman is dark, and he has no problem beating the crap out of someone if he feels a threat. All right, well, assuming Beast is willing to kill him. Still Batman. Yeah, still Gadgets. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Beast has blue fur. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, he and he's can, Frazier. And he can walk on the ceiling. He <laughs> might call Niles <laughs> yeah. over, you know, and Batman he construct Bruce hook. Wayne, but that's about it. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing out, though. Like, there's more to the fight here, but I guess... I, I think Batman would throw some sort of serum at him that would turn him back into a normal being and then beat the crap out of him and then wrap him up. Yes. And then wrap, wrap him, him up. up. <laughs> Take him wrap home. Wrap him up. <laughs> like, Send him home to Robin. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Next pairing is going to be the Doctor versus Hero. From Heroes. The Doctor. <laughs> Dude, Hero can do anything, though. So can the Doctor. He's got a sword. Now, and I, in the future, he's a samurai, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. But right? Then, okay. Hero in the future. Can't I want to remind you of something? It's called the Ando face. <laughs> when in the series of Heroes, <laughs> they, make a, they try to make a baby, a magical baby, happy by making a silly face at him the entire show. And I don't think... I, okay, granted, Hero can... Travel through space and don't time just take out your anger on the show heroes. Like, yeah, think I, about the character. You loved Hero when you first saw him for he, the whole first season. You he loved was Hero. Adorable. Yata. Yeah. Yata versus Geronimo or Alanzi. Yeah. But I'm, and it's true. Hero can tele. Hero can teleport. He can, but he can travel through space and time without mechanical aid. Whereas the Doctor needs the TARDIS. Yeah. It's also true that the Doctor has a pacifist attitude. Yes. But. The Doctor, much like Batman, is in that mentality of, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. I don't think the Doctor would, like, kill Hero, like, gunshot to the head or anything like that. I think he would put him on a planet that he later just committed genocide over the whole planet. (laughs) Because that's what the Doctor does, essentially. (laughs) He destroys entire worlds instead of people. Although, okay, I'm thinking about it. And even though I want Hero... To just meet a miserable death in that ring. If he doesn't have the TARDIS by his side and he's not going to kill Hero, I think Hero's going to take this one. The Doctor mm. regenerates, though. I mean, that's what you're thats what you're not thinking about. He does regenerate, but I think Hero would just keep killing him again and again no, and but, again and again. But, what you, you know, he could become someone like the War Doctor. He could become... You know, someone that's willing to kill. So you're saying Hero kills him. Yes, he could kill him he seven turns, times. He turns his back on him. Yes. And then and he, he could become the wrong doctor, it's not if exa- you will. It's not exactly a very quiet regeneration, though. There's, like, large amounts of radiation pouring out of his Yeah, body. but by that time, Hero, you know, because Hero does have a conscience, he would be like, oh, okay, I've killed him 12 times. Now what? <laughs> and I think the doctor, is, that's when he stabs him in the back. But we know that there was a limit put on regenerations before. And they gave him a new set of regenerations. Are we spoiling here? <laughs> they gave him a new set of re- regenerations in the last season. I feel like the Doctor would stick Hero's head in the TARDIS door you know, turn it on. And then so Hero's head would be somewhere nope. and his body would be elsewhere. No. Yes. <laughs> he might be able to incapacitate him. But if it's a death match, as much as I want the Doctor to win, I think Hero's going to take it. See, I he, think he can, he can dude, hop around in space and time and kill him. Hero lives once. The Doctor lives forever. I think it's the Doctor. Ah, uh, this is this is kind of tough because I was actually leaning Doctor to begin with, but now hearing that argument, if the Doctor doesn't have the TARDIS, I you, mean, what can he really do? But Regenerate. You, but you do realize into the wrong person. You do realize either way you vote on this one, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go. Hero wins. Whoa! I didn't even want to. I didn't expect to, but that's just that's just too good an argument. Hero from Heroes. Yeah. Ando face. I know. I he's, got, he's got a sword. I don't want him to win, but in a death match, <laughs> I his, want. His I, powers I'd be are sad. better. I want the doctor to win, but without the TARDIS, he's he's just a man with two hearts in that cage. You just killed the doctor, by the way, Joel. Yeah, shame <laughs> on you. No, and Harry Potter. No, Stephen Moffat did that. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> slam nerd burn. <laughs> are you ready for this one? Yeah, Aragon versus Xena. <laughs> now Aragon, not Aragorn, right? What Aragorn? But we all say Aragorn. It's yeah. Aragorn. Not the dragon boy. Strider. Strider we're talking about here. Okay. So Strider versus who? Xena. Xena. Warrior, Warrior princess. princess. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing her little ring of uh, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. The little ring. Does she have Gabrielle? <laughs> no, Gabrielle's not there. <laughs> okay. So Gabrielle's not there to distract her no. or anything. Nope. It's just her and Aragorn. I'm really pondering this one. This isn't easy. Can you go first? Xena. Xena? Xena. She has more weapons. Strider's great. 
Strider is a classic hero, but he is basically just a knight. He's just a guy with a sword. He's a guy with a sword who's a great fighter. But he, he is much more stabby. <laughs> Xena tends to, like, wrestle and kick and hit with Yeah, she would do like a that. suplex on him. Yeah, whereas he, she's more of a wrestler, whereas he's a stabber. He'll chop off a head if he has to. He'll chop off a head, but she also has little blades in her boots and everything. And, like, and Xena basically has it, the, the body of an orc, so he's used to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Poor Lucy Lawless. <laughs> no kidding. What a slam. <laughs> I'm going with Xena. I'm going to go with Eric. I think it'll be a grappling match, and I think Xena will win out in the end. I think she'll break his neck with her legs. You know, I I have to say, I'm, are, you, are you done with your arguments, Joel? Yes, because it wasn't very strong to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Xena. Yeah, I nice. Figured I figured you would. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you, says, you just won the last right round. Like, can't you I ever didn't want to win the last round. <laughs> <laughs> then don't argue for it. But it made sense. <laughs> All right, Ghost What Rider? is a sonic screwdriver going to do against Hero? Yeah, not much. Not much. It can do anything. Unless he's a milk- Have you seen the show? Unless it can do a, anything. Unless he's a milk monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider? Are we talking like the uh, 1990s PBS Ghost show? Ghost Rider! Word. I'm, I'm burning mad. I'm steaming mad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Nick Cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ghost Dang. Rider. Dang. That, that's, the one where his, that's the one where his face goes off, right? <laughs> <laughs> he pees fire. Ah. Yes, yeah. I do remember I that. I didn't watch the sequel. Mostly because he pees fire in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, that's just weird. You hate things that pee fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that makes let, sense. Let it be noted. I mean, big, that's your fine. Your bigoted mind. I'll stand by that. Against all those who pee fire. All right, so Ghost Rider's fighting Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Okay, I got to go with Ghost Rider because he's going to do the soul stare into Raphael's eyes and he's going to fry because Raphael has done a lot of things that he's not proud of and his guilt is going to eat him up. Hmm. Also, size are primarily a defensive weapon. Just saying. See, I think Raphael has the agility, and I don't think he has this conscience that he feels bad about things he's done. He just has an attitude. You don't need agility when you're immortal. Yeah, but he rides a motorcycle. Like, why couldn't Ghost I'm Rider pretty sure Raphael cooler? would ride a motorcycle. Raphael, if he was riding his motorcycle, Raphael would throw his size into the spokes. <laughs> the motorcycle would just <laughs> no, break Raphael, apart. Raphael would be like, yo, then, yo, Flame Skull, what's your problem? <laughs> Stab. <laughs> yeah. And Nicolas Cage would have his, his the, chain. The chain of fire around his neck. And that's it. And then he would pee Your himself. Is mine. He'd pee himself fire, basically, <laughs> after he was beaten by Raphael. And the flaming pee would then light Raphael. Like I on do fire. think, yes, turtles roast easily. <laughs> That's all he is. He's an amphibian who can kick. Yeah, no, but no, he's reptile. Reptile. super fast, and he is the coolest of the amphibian? turtles. He's cool but rude. Hold on, you know. <laughs> Give me a break. Michelangelo is a party dude. Hello. Raphael. I'm pretty sure he says party. Party. Right. Joel. Oh, yeah. Turtles or reptiles? Ghost Rider still? Yeah. Ghost Rider versus Raphael. Yeah. Definitely. Raphael. Man, this is hard. No, I was going to say, Ghost Rider is, is like a hell demon. Raphael is a turtle. But he sucks. Ghost Rider sucks. I thought you were talking about Raphael because he is the least of all the Ninja Turtles. Are you kidding me? Michelangelo, number one. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, number four. Oh. No, maybe the girl one, the girl Ninja Turtle, and then Raphael. <laughs> Thank you for being opposite of everyone that's listening right now. <laughs> opposite of Nobody you. likes Leonardo. Everyone He's loves the Raphael. Leader. And it's easy to like Michelangelo. He's fun. Yeah. He's the party dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go Ghost Rider. Yeah. What? Yeah. He does have, like... motorcycle broke. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah, st- he could stare at you real hard. And burn you. And make you, you feel guilty. To a crisp. Meh. The weirdest podcast really ever. Is. We'd like to thank you if you're still listening. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening. All full. They're just mystified right now. Yeah. They're like, wait, Ghost Rider and Raphael are fighting? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. well, that's the thing is every time my kids, when they, every time they see the Batman versus Superman, are like, when they saw the Avengers when uh, Iron Man was fighting Thor, they're always just like, why are they fighting? They're both good guys. So I don't think they're going to like this podcast at all because they're going to ask that question every single time. This one's going to be a scenario where Superman or Storm is a bad guy. Whoa, Superman's fighting Storm in the first round? Yep, Superman. That's not fair. Superman. Why isn't it fair? Storm's great. Superman. I don't want to eliminate her this early. It's so Superman. <laughs> it's, it's hard to find somebody that can actually be kind of a match to Superman. And you picked Storm? Yeah, no, I think Storm's Storm. awesome. Uh, Storm, Storm's awesome in the animated series. Yeah. But And that's really all you need. All right, can are you saying there's a fight here? Let's hear about the fight. I'm saying there is a fight. <laughs> oh, don't even. Dude, she can 
She can control weather. She can slow down Superman. She I'm, can do anything. I'm she can zap sure him. Superman doesn't. Uh, weather doesn't affect him. It's like, oh, it's raining a little bit harder. Dude, Can't fly flies. today. There's lightning. There is. There are tornadoes. Oh, I just got struck by she lightning. Can, she actually matter. killed his dad. Um, in the in Man of she Steel, super- <laughs> Storm, Storm killed Jonathan Kent, <laughs> and so he got so mad. Yeah, that's that's probably why they're fighting. <laughs> that's why they're fighting. <laughs> no, son, you stay there and watch me die, even though you could save me and we could explain it away. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. I nice want, jab. I want this to haunt you for the rest of the son, day. Son, I so. don't want you to be found out ever. Uh, explaining away. I'm pretty sure if we saved this all these movie's two lives. and a half hours. By the way, Joel and I are now doing parting the Red Seas <laughs> with our heads out. I'm pretty sure if we saved all these people's lives, they would do what we told them to. But let's still let's let me die. I don't know why Kevin Costner is like this old Western <laughs> Wilford guy. Brimley. Yeah, pretty much. Son, why don't you have diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it died. But it's Superman. If Superman has to, if Superman wouldn't want to, he'd probably cry the whole time and at the very end break her neck when she tried to lightning somebody. <laughs> but <laughs> tell me how you really feel. <laughs> this is turning into a man of steel bash. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah. But it's Superman. Storm is mortal. She could die easily. Yeah. Superman. She can't do anything to him that would harm harm him. It's Superman. All right. Kent, it's Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but I love Storm. I think she put up a good fight. Yeah. Define, but it's define Superman. which Storm we're talking about here. You're talking about animated series. I go animated series. You're not series. talking Halle Berry. Comics right? and animated series. I don't... Because Superman would be confused. He's like, what, are you from Africa or like Detroit? I'm not sure. Because you know what happens your to Storm changes. in a cage with Superman? Hmm. The same thing that happens to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering about that line. I was like, how did that line go? That's and you awesome. said it. That was great. It's terrible. All right, here's the next matchup. We're going to have Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Against Captain America. Captain America. Dude, that's like Captain America versus Captain America. Are no, you kidding it me? Is. It it's is. It's not. Walker, Texas Ranger. Okay, we're not talking Chuck Norris, the fabled fictional Chuck Norris. Well, I was going to say Chuck Norris, but it seemed wrong to put on, like, the actual actor's name. In Except for he's become, a, he's become, there's Chuck Norris and there's Chuck Norris, the mythical figure of legend. Yes, yes. But if we're going Walker, Texas Ranger, the oh, guy well. can do a mean roundhouse, but Captain America wields a mighty shield. Dude, the roundhouse could take out the shield easily. I'm going Walker, Texas Ranger on this. <laughs> what? Yeah. A roundhouse kick and, and take you down vibranium separate, shield. You can't separate Chuck Norris from Walker, Texas that Ranger. Is actually the my fact that he was able too. to make that show last six seasons on CBS. Wasn't it on USA? <laughs> no, it was CBS. It's oh. only the, it's now in Are the reruns syndica- on USA? Yeah. It's okay. That's syndication fine. everywhere around the world. It is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joel, does your, does your vote change if it's just Chuck Norris? No, it's st- Walker, Texas Ranger cured. AIDS. <laughs> like with uh, Haley Joel Osment, there's an episode where he's I have AIDS, and I think he cured AIDS. No, I'm pretty sure they don't. <laughs> no, he did. He did. But it doesn't matter if it's Chuck he Norris. He did. He roundhouse kicked AIDS, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's Chuck Norris. It doesn't matter if Walker, Texas Ranger. Captain America and his shield would win because he is a super soldier, whereas... Oh, that's weird. Walker doesn't need a shield. The only shield he has is a badge. <laughs> yeah, and it's yes, not, Texas Rangers for the it's win. Not, it's not made of vibranium, though. Dude, it would be a great fight, actually, because there'd be roundhouse after roundhouse, and there'd be a lot of quick cuts there and everything be. like that. But the thing is, every time we tried to roundhouse the shield, vibranium absorbs energy, so it wouldn't do anything. Dude, he'd break it first kick. Then it's a cage match, Ken. <laughs> Imagine this cage match. He flings his shield around, ding, 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 decapitated. Do you like how no one else has like a crutch except for Captain America gets to bring his shield because he's no, kind no, of no, just no. a strong steroid the doctor, guy the without doctor, it? No, no, no. The Han Solo had it, or Indiana Jones had his whip and gun. Okay, you're right. Han Solo had his gun. But the shield feels more like a crutch. No, that's what it's their thing. It's their thing. Like the lightsaber came in. The sonic screwdriver came in. They all the wands came in. They have their equipment. Yeah, Chuck Norris, or sorry, Walker Texas Ranger. So doesn't need equipment. Walker Texas. He Ranger, doesn't even need a gun. He comes with a badge and boots and a he, hat. He'd probably rip off his belt like that and just start whipping Captain America, and that's all he needs. <laughs> and Captain America would pop his head off. No, dude, he would not. Walker Texas Ranger. I'll, Come I'll, on, no, Jake. Because no, here's the Jake. thing. <laughs> no, no. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up before the match and whisper in Steve Rogers' ears. That man is a commie. Boom. <laughs> he wouldn't believe it because it's Chuck Norris. He he'd, say, yeah. he'd say, no, he's son. He's been asleep for 50 he'd years. Say, he doesn't know. No, son, that's an American hero. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Norris is a zomb- it's zombie. Honestly, I think <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> zombie. zombie. <laughs> Joel's, Joel's drunk. He doesn't know what he's talking it's about. a zombie Nazi. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, Get Cap. I can't imagine Captain America just going up and like just like kneeling down before Walker. 
No. You know, and just like giving him a shield. No, not. It's I not, agree. It's not, it's not And then you know what Chuck Norris would do? <laughs> Flick him with his middle finger and thumb and go, bing. No. And his head would pop off. I don't, I don't buy <laughs> into the whole Chuck Norris mythology. It's a joke. It's a joke because. What do you think we're talking he's about, Joel? A joke. <laughs> Are we based in reality? Yeah. <laughs> this is all mythology. But Chuck Norris is not that cool. Jack Bauer could beat up Chuck Norris. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jake? Right. I think I think this match would last like two months, right? Is, yes, at least sixty <laughs> to ninety days of nonstop fighting, and uh, at the end, I do think Captain America would probably win. Are you kidding Boom! me? But it would last forever. Oh, what a joke! When Captain America wields his mighty shield, all those who oppose his shield must yield. Boo! Ma. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Oh so my you're trying gosh. to say, right? Whatever. I really appreciate your argument on that one, though, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one is Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> not not O'Brien. <laughs> it's Conan O'Brien. if it's the Barbarian. Conan. Yeah, Conan versus He-Man. Oh, He-Man. okay. Dun, 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 dun. He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going dreamy? I'm just gasping. He-Man. He's just dreamy over there. <laughs> uh, you go first, Ken. Well, if, you know, like, if He-Man was a camel... What? <laughs> Conan would be able to punch him and knock him out and probably kill him by breaking, you know, just break his neck by punching him. But it's all about He-Man. He has the power of Grayskull. He does have the power of Grayskull. And he also would repeat the same punch over and over and over because they reused the animation. <laughs> and he would defeat Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, they're basically twins. And Conan, yeah, it's, Conan it's the Barbarian, yeah, Conan, but he's a, he's, a, uh, he's a thug. He's just like, a, you know, a grumbling... Warrior type, whereas He Man strategizes. And That's true. Anyone. That's true. Yeah. Does he strategize? He does. He says, I'm going to punch this person and then I'm going to punch them again. <laughs> What's Conan's theme song? Conan. <laughs> Conan. That's not right. <laughs> well, as uh, well, you guys are agreeing, though, He Man. Yes. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, He Man, it is. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I should tell you, it reminds me. My mom likes to show this picture to everyone who visits. I'm not even kidding. Of me sitting in this wooden chair, three feet from the television screen, with like a sword and a shield. Every time He Man would come on, nice. she's like, "And look at this picture of Jacob when he was four <laughs> <laughs> To everyone, but yes, she shows it to everybody. It's the funniest Make thing. Make sell field trip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. Now, Joel, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage. You've told me already that Star Trek is not your forte. It's a bit of a blind spot. Blind spot. Although, I will say, I have started the original series. Yay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I need to start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah you got to start somewhere. All right, so this one is going to be a battle of the captains. Kirk versus Picard. Oh, man. Wait, does, uh, does Picard have telepathic abilities in this one? No, and nor is no. he a Borg in this mm. one. Which, at some point, he may become the Borg. Is Who he knows? in a wheelchair? <laughs> he's not in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. Uh, though he's on the list, too. Oh, okay. Uh, Picard versus Kirk. Kirk? I, I've i only seen videos of Kirk fighting. Like, he's always ripping his shirt off and punching people. <laughs> yeah, but it's also really slow punches. Like, he leans back. Yeah, he does. Uh, You're telling me Picard's a speed demon? Dude, I, I think he probably is. Does he fight <laughs> in the next generation? Picard is, like, immortal. That show went for 10 years, and he didn't age a day. He looks the same yeah, now. But good skin doesn't, doesn't equate to good fighting. <laughs> Maybe it does. It's not the same thing. <laughs> He's found the fountain of youth. He's Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. But I'm going to have to go with Kirk just because he seems like a fighter. I, I don't remember Kirk, uh, Picard punching a lot of people. No, he didn't need to because he mentally punched them. Oh, wait, that's, that's, and he always taught a lesson. That's <laughs> Professor X. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it's Kirk because he did, nine. he did beat the Kobayashi Maru, which is unbeatable. So right, it's let, Kirk. let me ask you this then. Mm. If they both had their, their shirts off, their starships, if Enterprise of their generation is with both of them at the time of the fight. In the cage? No, no, no. This is out in space. space Where's the is, cage? Space is the cage, Joel. <laughs> Dude, that's a tagline for a movie. I don't know what the movie is, but so you're saying with the, the crew, yes, crew with versus the crew, crew, crew versus crew with their ships, they're fighting each other. Didn't they do that in one of the movies? No. Where they both rode horses together and gave generations, generations, yeah. <laughs> Is that a Fabio movie? A little bit. <laughs> would that would that change anything? Do you think? I think mm, I, probably next generation. I mean, they got Data, they got Worf, they you got know, Scott, uh, I'm, I'm the with Enterprise you. and Next they got, Gen. They fought way harder enemies. And the, they, the enemies in one, or sorry, the original series, they basically went to Earth a lot. 
and they didn't have to their shields didn't have to deflect a whole bunch next gen it was every episode shields down to 70 percent. like they had a lot of shield power i think that the next <laughs> and, gen enterprise wins and they had lavar burton so they would win but don't take my word for it da 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 dear yes all right so what does that mean does kirk win or picard win it's kirk Kirk wins for you, Joel. With well, I'm going to go based on the Enterprise Picard. That's the thing is you, you you changed the battle. I did, I did. No, I was curious. This is more just like a diversion. I'm just curious because right. so on, I'm Kirk would advance in, I the, think in the fight. Kirk would Kirk will win in a cage match. Okay. You know, mano a mano. But with their starships, I don't know. I think Picard might win out. And I was just curious what you guys thought too. Yeah, but in this round, Kirk would advance. Yeah, yeah. We'll have okay. Kirk advance. Okay. Kirk would advance now. He's advancing now. Ow. All right, now this next one is kind of just to let you guys, I'll say, express yourselves. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's Buffy versus Edward Cullen. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> is Joel, there even... Joel, will you, will you argue for Edward Cullen, please? No. Yeah, do, do. Joel, Never in Joel. my life would I argue for Edward <laughs> do it. Cullen. He's fast. No. He's really fast, and he's maybe, strong. Maybe he could carry people on his back up trees. Yes. Maybe, maybe Lava Boy or Shark Boy. Oh, you mean Jacob? You're Team yes. Jacob, right? I'd be, I'd be maybe Jacob, but... The truth is, Buffy is a vampire slayer. Edward is a vampire. End of story. You know, but Buffy has to sleep. Yeah, ar- Edward never has to yeah, sleep. Argue, argue for Edward. Yeah, he so. doesn't have to sleep, but he has to get to class. He has to go to high school. Maybe you should ar- argue <laughs> Edward. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> no, it's, it's a He's dumb obsessed. Round. He's creepy. Uh, so, honestly, was, so was Spike. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess what? what? Buffy would probably fall for Edward. No, she would not. Because she tends to fall for oh, vampires, right? Troubled vampires. Maybe. And maybe these vampires have taken advantage of her. Maybe they don't kill each other at all. They just end up sparkle. making out at the They end. would just end up making out. Yeah. No, Buffy would kill him. In fact, I've seen the YouTube video where they've spliced together uh, goblet, goblet of Fire footage and Buffy oh. footage and made Edward die. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. It was pretty entertaining. I mean, I, I would like to vote for Edward, but I can't. It's Buffy all the way. Let the record show he just said, I like Edward. Uh, you're Team Jacob. I am. Okay. Terminator versus RoboCop. Which Terminator? That's a good question. It's Arnold. It's the T-100, T-100, T-800? Yeah, what it's all about it? Arnie. It's not the T-1000, though, is what you're saying. T-800. Is it T-800? Uh, Texas Instruments 85. <laughs> I think it's T-I-85. <laughs> yeah. Let's do... Yeah, it's Arnie. It's all about Arnie all versus right. RoboCop. All right. Mm. Oh, man, that's tough. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> because the Terminator is like a mindless killing machine. I mean, he's a machine that just, you know, intent to kill, whereas RoboCop has the human element. He has an amazing gun that comes out of his leg, and he has the spike that comes out of his hand. I think he takes that spike, stabs it into the Terminator, downloads or, like, formats his hard drive, and then Terminator's gone. I say RoboCop wins this round. You say that's easy? Not no, it's not easy. But I think that Terminator would be a worthy opponent. But RoboCop is going to win this battle. In every single movie, RoboCop has been like destroyed by the end. I mean, he really is just like a human brain and, and esophagus, basically, and that's all there is. Otherwise, it's cheap metal from. And this is where I think I win. Detroit. Oh. <laughs> I think Terminator from Skynet in the future wins out because he's a better quality product. He's not that better quality. He, he is. He, That's he, true. He is a better quality. He falls metal. apart. Yeah. yeah. There's. That, I was gonna say he's, he falls apart. He falls apart. And guess what? Skynet from the future finds those pieces, sends it back in time to destroy RoboCop again. Dude, we're talking original <laughs> RoboCop too. I'm not talking the reboot stuff here. No. I'm talking Peter Weller RoboCop. Same thing. No. But he has too many. Like he has PTSD. RoboCop has straight up PTSD. Something the Terminator does not. They're both going to read each other in that cool little, you know, horrible yeah. red <laughs> format. <laughs> Virtual yeah. boy format. Find each other's weaknesses, but RoboCop's going to be first on the draw. Get out his gun. <laughs> Dead Terminator. Nope. All right. All the arguments in? Yeah. I'm Ro- going Terminator. Yeah. Always. He always goes with him. <laughs> That's so I not know. true. I know. I got to say it now, though. <laughs> it's not true, but I still got to say it. All right. We're almost done with the whole first round. We've just finished the first round. Okay. I think we should call it there. Really? Which is crazy. And then continue later? Yes. So you're, you're presuming people want more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you listeners, listener, <laughs> bad, <laughs> will want more of this. I, that you I like think this. we'll be able to finish the next, all the following rounds. Because it's, it's less and less attempts. We whittled it down to how many people now? Okay, tell us, tell us the matchups. We're going to put this online All right. for, for people to decide as well. The and original then, matchups or the ones? The matchups just... and our winners. We'll probably put both out there because I want to get people's – basically, if we have bad arguments, 
I want to see if we can be proven wrong. Well, we can post it on our Facebook page and on Twitter, and uh, we probably could do it in, in our uh, BaconSell.com anyway uh, also. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we could. So you go to any of those places, you can see the bracket. We'll, we'll put it in there so you can actually see the rounds. Yeah, the next matchups, uh, there's a lot of uneven matchups in the next one. So I think it'll actually go fairly quickly. But then after that, it's going to be pretty tough battles. But All at right. the same time, it's going to be less people. And, and less people. So yeah. how many shows do you think we're going to break this up into? Just I think two. two. Yeah. So you think we can finish it up next time? Yes. yes. All right. All okay. right. So thank you for listening to this random episode of Bacon <laughs> Cell. Hopefully you enjoyed playing along. Yeah. Yeah. And play along. Let us know where we messed up, what you think, and who should have won. Where The Doctor and didn't. Harry Potter. Clearly. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't. I want the Doctor to win, but I don't think he would have. Wow. I was just saying, I really prefer the Doctor. You, you heard my hatred for, towards Hero, but I think he would win. Oh, yeah. wow. But please, uh, go on iTunes and give us a rating, and please review us. We'd love to see your comments there, and, we, and it helps us out, too, when you give us the ratings. It helps us appear in iTunes for more people. We look better, even though we may not be better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's our motto. <laughs> yeah, and let us know any heroes that we should have included. And uh, tell us tell us off for that. That'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, get mad at us. We enjoy that. Yeah. All right. So obviously, this show is to be continued. Yes, to be it continued, is. and there may even be, depending on how you guys like this, a villains matchup as well. Ooh. Awesome. So until then, I'm Kent. You can find me at Kenny Three DD at Twitter and Instagram. My website is showtimeshowdown.com for movie reviews. I'm Joel. You can find me at 786Joel on Twitter, and then you can also see me at Quick Wits on the weekends at the Midville Performing Arts Center. And I'm Jacob. You can find me at Twitter, uh, at Jacob A. Rogers. Thank you so much for listening. Oh, and who found you on Twitter, by the way? What? Lead singer of the Spin Doctors. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, he followed me this week. That was really weird. That's awesome. Probably because yeah. of the show. Thank you, listener. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Spin Doctor listener. One of the princes is our listener. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One of the two princes. <laughs> All right. And this is Bacon Cell. <laughs> Tell me more, more tell me. I'd like to see the car. Mm-hmm. Here, just take a Wait, bite. Wait, so, okay, not only is he creating a shark, he's creating a shark a that is self-aware. Shark. <laughs> Whatever kid said, he made up some stuff, so I'm going to go with his. <laughs> and when we touched him, he didn't shudder. My paw. Because <laughs> Raphael has done a lot of things that he's not proud of, and his guilt is going to eat him up. Walk the Texas Ranger cured AIDS. Whereas, oh, that's weird. Walker doesn't need a shield. The only shield he has is a badge. Jack Bauer could beat up Chuck Norris. Wow. Space is the cage, Joel. But don't take my word for it. Dunna da. Build the Hobbit trilogy. But I'm gonna pick a pony and I'm gonna ride that pony. Bouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun. I like Edward.